You're right, guys, it's Capgun Tom here, and welcome to episode number 20 of The Path to Paris. Yes, we are deep into the series, already hitting that magical 20 episode mark, and let's hope that it goes on for a little bit longer, but not too long. We don't want this to be a 100 episode series, that's for sure. It would be good if we ended around 50 episodes or so, but we'll have to wait and see what happens on the trading front because obviously that is what dictates the entire series. Now, you can see we're clearing out our trade pile. We have managed to sell loads of healing cards and a couple of other things. We've got an informal. Rakitic and Amatoidi in our trade pile that still need to sell. Now, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out futcoinemporium.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap, and reliable coin service. And if you use the discount code CAPCUNTOM, you'll get 5% off all your purchases. So here we go. We're going into our first game, and we are coming up against a 4-3, a 1-2 BPL team. Looks pretty dangerous. I mean, it's got Yaya Torre, Benteke, Soldado. It's also got uh, the likes of Cthola, Ericsson, and Nasri in it. So it's not very difficult offensive but still a very strong team and we do manage to take the lead with our first ever bicycle kick in the path to Paris and guess what it was Maurice that managed it as well brought on to rest one of our other players wasn't spectacular but it was a bicycle kick nonetheless so I was pretty happy about that and it's the first one I've ever scored on FIFA 14 ultimate team so let's hope there's a lot more to come now we have three points I believe from our first three games in this division we managed to draw every single uh, game in the last episode I believe which wasn't brilliant but we're hoping to do a little bit better this game and you can see that we already have taken down a win as this guy has decided to rage quit out as we managed to score a header with camera from the free kick so looking good we take down three points in the space of what 41 minutes and 20 seconds and there you go they are on the board only another two points will mean that we are safe for another season and uh, yeah we can also push on for those promotional spots obviously I'd rather get the championship spot than the promotional spot because you get an extra thousand coins a title and a whole load of prestige to go with it so that's what we're aiming for the title and then obviously move into the next division so here we go we're going into our very next game that one was a little bit short so I thought I'd play four games today instead of the regular three and we come up against a Serie A squad it's got Muriel Diamante closer it's also got that nine Golan at the CDM position and a half decent looking defense although it's not the strongest I've ever seen so I was pretty happy about that now we took the lead it was Cavani going to the near post in the 58th minute that actually uh, separated us for a little while and and then we made it 2-0 when I managed to go through again with Cavani. Little over-the-top ball just going through that gap. Cavani was there and he's never going to miss that finesse shot. He has been an absolute tank for us. And he is starting to get to the point where he's now going to have a more than one goal per game record. But we'll have a look at the stats of each player in a second. Now, managed to concede a header from across. I was a little bit disappointed in that. I was hoping that we could, you know, go through and keep a clean sheet. Um, I was, you know, almost certain that we'd end up winning, but he ended up lobbing it over the top and Diamante came out of nowhere and scored. Took our lead away, which I'd worked hard for all game and destroyed it in the space of, what, five minutes? Really, really frustrating and we end up taking down a draw. I didn't want to see any more draws for a very long time after the last episode, but there's another one already. Um, on the balance of play, he probably deserved to win, but it does move us one point closer to that uh, safety spot, so that's what we're aiming for at the set moment. Anyway, we're looking at the stats. You can see that Menes is our highest scorer. Cavani has now got a one goal in every game ratio. He's also got uh, three assists, and, I mean, the highest assister is still Maurice, but he's been in the team the longest. And uh, Pastore, he's managed to get quite a few assists as well, and so has Menez. So we're starting to see a good improvement from the team. And I am planning to apply some chemistry styles in the next episode, if not do a signing. I can't really decide what I'm going to do. It really depends on uh, the coin situation. But I think the most likely thing is going to be some sort of chemistry style on a couple of players. Um, I'm thinking of doing Lucas and Menes, as we already have one on Cavani. So it, may, it would be a waste if we put it on the likes of, I don't know, Maurice, who doesn't play all that often, or any of the other players. Now, uh, we are going into our very next game, and we come up against another. 4-3-1-2 team this time it is a Serie A team and uh, he was an absolute bastard I won't lie he literally just pace raked me over the top twice he managed to do it in the first uh, half and it was really really frustrating Sal both times going through and I just couldn't do anything about it I think he's got like 92 pace as a striker that's pretty impressive and very difficult to deal with however this game was absolutely ridiculous 
ridiculous. He was very poor at defending. I knew it from the outset. As soon as the game started, I was like, I can score a lot of goals in this game. So I wasn't too upset that I went 2-0 down. And uh, just after half-time, we managed to level it up. And uh, we just went absolutely ham. There are plenty of good goals for you guys to watch. Now, on Twitter the other day, I asked about chemistry styles. I wanted to know what your thoughts were. And... Um, I basically asked, what do you think uh, you should do with chemistry styles? Should you be applying them to uh, your player's strengths? Should you be applying them to his weaknesses? Or should you be applying them to the role that he's playing? Now, I think that most likely uh, the thing that I'm going to be doing is applying it to the, uh, the strengths of whatever player. Because I don't understand what is the point of putting, I don't know, a passing sort of chemistry style onto the likes of... Uh, Menez when he doesn't really get as many assists as he does goals I'm going to put like a pace and a shooting card on him because I like the fact that he's fast I like the fact that he can score goals so it's most likely that I'll put a pace and shooting card on him maybe a heading card to improve his heading but generally I think that um, I think you should be applying the cards to people's strengths and I was looking at uh, Lucas in detail and really wondering which sort of chemistry style I should put on him and that's the one that I asked um, people sh or asked what people thought I should put on him now I looked at him and I was like, OK, he's got great pace, he's got great dribbling, um, he's got, you know, decent shooting and decent passing and his other two stats we don't really care about. And I was like, well, maybe I should boost up his, you know, his passing and his his shooting because those are the two that are sort of average. But then I thought, you know, if I put that onto him, he's actually going to lose pace and he's going to lose um, the likes of his dribbling because a basic chemistry style actually puts an extra one on both those stats. So I was like... Well, why don't I go away and put something like a an engine card on him? I think that does pace, dribbling and passing. And that will give him plus two on all of those stats. I don't really care about his defending or his heading stats because he's not really in the sort of positions ever that he's going to use those. So um, I'm even thinking of maybe even just putting a hunter card on him and boosting up his pace and shooting by three on each of those because... Just generally, I want him to be a very attacking player. So it's difficult to know what to do with chemistry styles. Obviously, I've got a hunter chemistry style in my club already, so I may end up putting that on Menez. As you can see, Menez goes through and scores as I say that. Um, but it's a big, a big challenge and I don't want to waste coins putting chemistry styles on players that I then go and change later on that just seems uh, counterproductive when we're doing all this trading to try and buy the better players so uh, I'm definitely going to go away and think about it tonight obviously put your comments down in the comments section as to what you think I should do and uh, I, of course we'll look through all of them the more in depth you go and the more reasoning you give behind you, the, the reasons why you do stuff the better because it will give me a much better understanding of why you stuff is done from why because I don't really use chemistry styles now this is probably the best goal that I've ever had scored against me it was Kaka on the overlap and he just oh that dink ball that was absolutely phenomenal we're a 3-1 up so I wasn't too bothered and I just looked at that goal in awe and was like oh my god that's fantastic finish off this episode with one well I have to say it's a pretty aidsy goal tried to over the top it came to one of his defenders ended up bouncing out all of that jazz and uh, we end up scoring with Lucas Menes goes two uh, Maurice He's got one. He was resting out Cavani, so uh, he did pretty well for uh, being brought in as a rotational player. But there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Obviously, if you could drop it a like, that'd be fantastic. A thousand likes, as always, will mean that there is another episode tomorrow. Otherwise, you'll have to wait an extra day. But other than that, I'm going to have to stop talking. Um, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time.